Hi, this is Don Allen. Today we're going to talk about approximating derivatives using sim simple differences. Uh, there's some good news in this, that is that we can uh, very accurately approximate derivatives, and there's some bad news which we'll show you somewhat later on the fact that you can't get them arbitrarily good, even if you work hard using these methods. Well, the three differences we have in mind are the forward, the backward, and the symmetric differences. The forward difference you should recognize right here is the standard old difference quotient that you learned in your calculus class. The backward difference is also a difference quotient, it's just that you go to the left of A instead of, uh, as usual, to the right of A. And the symmetric difference is when you go a ahead and then you go behind and you divide by the span uh, over which you have differenced. Well, let's see how good they are, in theory anyway. Now uh, we expand f of a uh, plus h and powers of h using the Taylor series and that gives us f of a, f prime of a h plus one half, f double prime of a h squared plus one over three factorial f triple prime of a h cubed and so on. So we subtract and divide by, uh, subtract f of a and divide by h and uh, here we have our target f prime of a. And here is basically the error term, and the error term depends on h. And the dominant coefficient involves the second derivative. We can do the same thing for the, uh, the backward difference, and this time we approximate also in h, the Taylor series, but uh, for odd powers of h will have a negative sign. The expansion will be the same as above, but negative signs on the odd powers, which is what you'd expect when you have a minus h. And then we take f of a minus f of h, and this gives us f prime of a minus one half f double prime of a times h plus one over three factorial f triple prime of a times h squared, and so on. But nonetheless, for both of these, the the error is order h. So it's linear, basically. Now, the symmetric difference is a more powerful difference, and uh, it is really the average of the forward and backward differences. So averaging, we have uh, f of a plus h minus f of a minus h over 2h, and that comes to, after the arithmetic you see there, to f prime of a, the target, and the, and the error term, it's plus dot dot dot, it's higher order derivatives, but the uh, order here is h squared. So the symmetric difference seems to be vastly better, uh, at least according to the Taylor series. And uh, what we're going to do uh, now is look at some examples as I say, the calculations were made with Scientific Notebook. In fact, uh, I'm in Scientific Notebook as I make these notes. Okay, let's look at our first function. Uh, we're going to take a look at f of x equals e to the x. And you'll note that f prime of a is e to the a. So we do our expansions. And this time we have actual numbers in here. I mean, our functions in here, and the, finally the second and, and the f forward and backward differences are each order h multiplied by e to the a. Uh, the symmetric difference is order h squared multiplied by one sixth or one over three factorial e to the a. The higher order of approximation is expected, and we got it. Now let's just construct uh, some lines through graphs as though we're going to use those slopes uh, of, the, uh, of these approximations uh, for the tangent line. And we'll see some differences here. Now I'm going to take a equal 1. So we're going to look at uh, f prime of 1 and h equals 0 0.4. Now in this particular example, f prime of 1 is e, as you know, 2.7182828 and so on. When we compute those differences 
uh, using a equal 1 and h equals 0.4, we get three rather different numbers. The symmetric difference, uh, you'll notice, is very, very close to the uh, actual derivative, 2.72 versus 2.79. Difficult to see graphically. So we'll approximate the tangent line using those slopes. As you can see here, uh, we're doing uh, the, uh, uh, the uh, forward slope in red, the backward slope in green, and the symmetric slope in purple. And let's take a look at the picture. As you can see, the red one is pretty far off the mark. It really cuts through the function. It's not tangent to the function. The green one is similar. It's also quite far from the tangent function. But the purple line here, which you can barely see down at the bottom, blends and is very, very close to the tangency at, uh, at uh, the function. Our next example is f of x equals 1 over 1 plus x squared. And we're going to look at a equals 3. Uh, we can compute the derivative. And it's shown up here at the top. It gets more complicated at higher derivatives. And f prime of 3 is minus 3 over 50. This is something that you can plug in, in and check. Now let's compute at x at a equals 3 the forward, the backward, and the symmetric differences. And what we get is, uh, in fact, the uh, derivative. This one should be a negative. So let me make it negative. <coughs> and then uh, these uh, particular uh, evaluations. And then the symmetric one, which is order h squared. Okay. So in fact, uh, it's a much better estimation. Uh, in the next little chart, we show that if we had picked a equal one, then something else happens that's rather unsatisfactory, and that's because this third derivative at a equal one is zero. And that means you will automatically you will you will get a higher power of uh, of estimation, but that's only an anomaly because of uh, the symmetry apparent symmetry at, uh, at a equal one through the through the um, the third derivative. Okay, in the case a equal two, we have uh, the following calculations. Uh, in in this case, uh, we have order h, order h, and uh, um, order h squared for the uh, symmetric one. Uh, two. Hi. Hi. In our third example, we're going to look at f of x equals tangent two x, and the point will be a equals zero. We compute the derivative. It is f prime is equal to uh, the uh, twice the tangent squared 2x plus 1. But that is the same as 2 divided by cosine squared of 2x, which you can check. And f prime of uh, 0 is 2. So that's the derivative, exact derivative. If we expand the uh, Taylor series uh, for the forward and backward differences, we get the same thing. And that is because the function is odd and consequently all of the odd derivatives will be zero and uh, the symmetric difference which is the average of those will be the same as well so all approximations are of order uh, h squared uh, and and that's simply because the second derivative is, is zero at this point uh, you can check by the graph of the uh, tangent function that we show there. In the fourth example, we look at a more complicated looking function. 
and select the point A equals 1. The function is a quartic with a little trigonometric piece in there. We can compute the derivative at any point and that gives us the derivative uh, at 1 to be 3 sine 3 minus 13 and uh, numerically that's about minus 12.577. So that's a pretty steep slope. Computing the uh, Taylor series at an arbitrary point, we get these approximations that you see. Um, and they look complicated, and they are complicated. Uh, but they show first that uh, the error is order h in both, order h in both, and the symmetric in the symmetric case, the error is order h squared. It's just that the, uh, the uh, coefficients look kind of messy. All right, so we, we go on, and the order is increased by 1. And now let's take a look at the details in the case uh, a equals 1.0 instead of general. Then we get the uh, forward difference is the exact derivative in this order h term. The backward difference is, is the same, and the uh, order h term. And then the symmetric difference is the order h squared term. Now, if we compute these differences using h equals uh, 0 0.4, as we did in the previous example, you can see vastly different uh, approximations to the derivative. Uh, recall the exact one is, uh, is minus 12.577. The symmetric difference does very, very well at uh, minus 12.91. So keep in mind that the size of h is important in these, in these examples. We conclude this short video by asking the question, what happens when h gets very small? We won't answer it uh, in this video, but I'll show you in a spreadsheet uh, and, and video coming up. Very, very good, but they don't.